What's going on guys, Mr. Clasher here. Welcome back to another Pokemon Go video guys. In today's video, we have some awesome Pokemon. We have Hatch, Rum, and Egg, and we also caught him to be talking about those. So let's see what kind of Pokemon we caught. So the first one, now I'm not exactly ha sure how you pronounce the name. I think it's either Scyther or Skyther, but I think it's Scyther, the name, how you pronounce it. Again, I'm not the expert in Pokemon pronunciation because there's a ton of Pokemon, but I think his pronunciation is Scyther, uh, but... So I have 26 Scyther candies, and he does 15 Steel Wing and Night Slash. He does 30 damage, so that's not bad. And it's a very, very cool Pokemon. Now you guys are wondering, um, you know, how did I get him, and what kind of egg did I get him? Well, first of all, I hatched him from an egg, and somebody on Twitter asked, you know, what kind of egg was it? And it was a, from a 10-kilometer egg. That's what I hatched this thing from, and he's pretty beast. I mean, I heard he was a pretty good Pokemon. Um, he does pretty good amount of damage as well, and I can't power him up anymore because I need to be level 20. But I did actually upgrade him as much as I could. It's pretty expensive to upgrade Scyther, very, very pricey, especially in the Stardust. The candy's not too bad. I got about 32, 34 Scyther candy, so that was a pretty good. Uh, very cool Pokemon. I, I did see someone else have this Pokemon before when I met someone, but that's about it. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. And I don't think he is a common Pokemon either. I have not seen him in the you know wild or just random. So um, I, don't, I don't think he's a common one. So it's a pretty cool one. So the next thing we got is this. Now we got a 1,242 of Vaporeon. And what's cool about this is we evolved a 500 something Eevee. I think it was a 500 or a 600 Eevee. And we got um, a 1,242 Vaporeon. Now that is amazing because... A 1200 Vaporeon is very, very strong, and um, the Water Gun does 6 damage, and the Water Pulse is 35. So, the last time I had a Vaporeon was 197 CP, so that was really, really weak, and I'm just glad I actually got this Pokemon. The Vaporeon is very, very cool, Water-type Pokemon, and I do have about 8 Eevees candy, so what I'm going to do is actually not upgrade the Vaporeon. Maybe I will, but also... What today what happened was we did get a 1034 jolt in now This is one of those decisions that it's hard for me to make inside the game because this is a five The thunder shock does five damage and the thunder does a hundred But if you look at this jolt in it does thunder shock does five and the discharge does 35 now from what I know the discharge right here the special move is gonna go a lot quicker than the than the thunder so you could go faster with the Discharge, but I don't know which one to actually transfer just because um, it's, I don't know, because the stats are just very different and I know some people prefer to have a Pokemon that hits faster over the one that hits slower, but then you look at the stats and this one does 100 for the special move, this one does 35. So I don't know which one to choose, guys. You guys can tell me that in the comment section below, the higher Jolteon or the lower Jolteon, so... It's a pretty hard decision. We also got the Flareon, 10 and 55. So let's see what else. We also got this brand new Pokemon. We got, I think that, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it, but uh, is it Tangila or Tangila? Tangila? I'm not sure how you pronounce the Pokemon. Uh, we hatched him from a 10, no, we've hatched him from a 5 kilometer egg. That's what it was. And somebody told me it hits very, very fast and pretty good Pokemon. You can't evolve this Pokemon. So. I could power him up, but I'm going to save my Stardust. But 889 CP out of a 5km egg is actually not bad. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. I don't think he is a common Pokemon for sure. So uh, you guys can tell me that in the comment section below whether this Pokemon is good or not. Uh, the Sludge Bomb does 55 and the, the Vine Whip does 7 damage. So uh, we're going to put a star to this Pokemon. What else? We also got the Parasect 710. We actually evolved the Paras. Um, so that was pretty cool. Bug Bite 5, Cross Poison 25. Hits very, very, very fast, I believe. Uh, so it's a pretty cool Pokemon. 710 CP. No, not too bad. Uh, what else? We also got, we also caught, let's see, this Pidgeot. So this Pidgeot was actually at the park, 15 and 80. That's a lot of damage, but again, the higher the damage the Pokemon does, the slower it attacks. Because this game's pretty balanced. And this one does 9 and 30. So again, I had to make a decision whether to choose the lower CP or the higher CP. I just don't know. So um, it's a lot of decisions to make whether I want a Pokemon that hits very fast or the Pokemon that does more damage. So we also caught another Venom, I mean Venomoth. Um, I believe we actually caught the 734 Venomoth. So this one does 5 and 25 and this one does 15 and 55. Once again, 
This one probably hits a lot faster, but this one does a lot more damage, so I just cannot decide which Pokemon to choose. I just don't like comparing a Pokemon that does more damage compared to the one that does actually more it attacks faster in speed. So uh, what else do we have? We did catch the 622 Hunter in my neighborhood. That was pretty cool. Uh, so a very cool Pokemon. We can evolve him, you know, later on as well. I just need 77 more candies. That's a ton more candies to get. Uh, what else did we get? I think that's about it. Um, I still have the two Squirtles. I don't know which one to choose. Uh, let's see. We got... That's about it, I think. Yeah. Oh, we also got the Magic Harp. Uh, we only have seven candies. So, um, you know, hopefully we can catch a Magic Harp out of an egg soon. That would be very, very useful. And that's about it. So we did get a couple new Pokemon. And I heard that when I showed a person my Cloyster, somebody said that it's he's actually not a common. So, um, you know, it's pretty cool. It's because what what makes him pretty much difficult to get is, let me go to the shelter. So the shelter takes 50 shelter candies to upgrade to a Cloyster. Now, for getting 50 shelter candies is not very easy. I can guarantee that at least where I live, getting 50 shelter candies is not easy. So... Um, I think it's pretty cool that I got a Cloyster right off the bat. Pretty cool guy and does pretty good amount of damage, 9 and 100. So that's about it. You guys can tell me in the comment section below which one I should do, the lower Pidgeot or the higher Pidgeot or transfer the lower Jolteon or the higher Rainer. And this is supposed to be the um, um, Jolteon. So anyway, I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys smash the like button. It would really mean a ton. And as always, I'll see you all on the next video.